Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a black comedy thriller film, Parasite. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Parasite is a South Korean black comedy thriller film considered by many critics as one of the best films in the 21st century. That's overwhelming. The movie revolves around a poor and a rich family's life. The script of the movie got a ton of attention for the brilliant twist and turning tales of the story. The film captivates the hearts of many for its detailed anecdote. It suffices to say that the people who have plenty of money to spend rely on the labor of the poor. The same goes for the unfortunate who survive because of the money of the rich. The movie shows us the inequality and unfairness of society. It exhibits the prejudices of the rich and the poor. It clearly states how comfortable a person can live with money and how hard the poor dwell in order to survive in society. The movie left us with the question, is it bad to be poor and is it a sin to be rich? The Kim family is a family of four living in a small basement apartment. They hardly earn enough money to live without getting into debt. One day, Kik Wu, the son, has a tough time hacking the Wi-Fi connection of their neighbor, who seems to have changed the password. The father, Kik Take, advises him to hold his phone high up to the ceiling and stick it in every corner of the house in order to get an internet connection. Finally, he finds a signal in the bathroom. The connection comes to a newly opened cafe. The daughter, Kai Jung, joins her brother, Kik Wu, in stealing Wi-Fi from the cafe. The mother, Chung Suk, tells her children to check if the pizza generation already sent her a message. The pizza store contacts them to fold pizza boxes. The Kim family folds pizza boxes attentively. They watch videos on how to do it properly. When suddenly, a cloud of fumigation enters their small room in the basement. Kai Teek excitedly insists on keeping the windows open to take the opportunity to get free insecticide. The family chokes due to the smell of the smoke, but they still fold the pizza boxes continuously while laughing at each other. Kik Wu's friend, Min Hia, visits them to give them a scholar's rock that promises wealth. The mother whispers that it is better if he brought food instead of rock. Min Hia works as an English tutor to a wealthy family, but he needs to study abroad. That is why he asks his dear Kik Wu to take over his position. Min Hia likes his student a lot and promises to ask her out once she enters university. Min Hyuk trusts Kik Wu's talent, but Kik Wu is hesitant because he is not qualified for the position since he is an out-of-school youth that did not go to university. Min Hyuk says that he can fake his documents. Kik Wu worries that it will not be accepted. But Min Hyuk assures him that the wealthy family is gullible, especially the mother. It will be easy for him to be accepted because he has his recommendations. Kai Jung fakes his brother's documents. She is a talent for editing and does it like a pro. Later, Kik Wu goes to the Park family's extravagant house. He is astonished at how big the house is. He meets Mrs. Park, gives his credentials, and says his name is Andrew. Mrs. Park adores and trusts Min Hik a lot, which is why she feels sad that he needs to leave to study abroad. She accepts Kik Wu because of Min Hik's recommendation. But Mrs. Park says that she will stay in the class to check Kik Wu's ability in teaching. Mrs. Park joins the class of her daughter, Da Hai. Da Hai finds Kik Wu attractive and falls for him. Finally, Mrs. Park likes Kik Wu's teaching style and gives him his salary. Kik Wu stares at the painting hanging on the wall. Mrs. Park says that his young son Da Song draws it. She tells a glimpse of Da Song's story and his love for arts. Kik Wu thinks of an idea and remembers his sister's talent in arts. He tells Mrs. Park that he knows someone who studies art therapy. He makes up stories to build his sister to Mrs. Park. He says his sister studied in reputable art schools and is famous in her field. That is why her rate is extremely high. Mrs. Park tells Kik Wu to bring her in the house to be his son's art tutor. The next day, Kim Wu brings his sister and tells her name is Jessica. Jessica gives an incredibly good impression to Mrs. Park. The daughter Da Hai sees Jessica and Kim Wu together and gets jealous. Kim Wu enters Da Hai's room and kisses her to give assurance that there is nothing going on with the art tutor, Jessica. Jessica convinces Mrs. Park that she is an exceptionally good art tutor. She makes up stories that Mrs. Park easily believes without knowing that Jessica just searched those words on the internet. Mrs. Park is very surprised that his son, Da Song, follows Jessica's instructions politely. Jessica convinces Mrs. Park to give her a high salary. Jessica thinks Mrs. Park is gullible because she falls for her tricks easily due to Jessica's explanation of Da Song's drawings which she saw on the internet. Mr. Park comes home from work with his driver. Mrs. Park introduces Jessica to her husband. Mr. Park asks his driver to send Jessica home because it is already late. While inside the car, the driver insists on driving Jessica to her house, but she does not want to reveal where she really leaves. So she just tells the driver to drop her off at the train station. But the driver is persistent. 
So Jessica gets annoyed and says that she will meet her boyfriend at the station. Jessica gets an idea to make up another story to fire the driver, so that her father Kick Tate can be the driver. She intentionally takes off her underwear and leaves it in the car. Mr. Park sees the underwear and gets angry, because he thinks that his driver is using his car to play a hormone let-go game with another woman. He tells it to his wife and asks to fire the driver quietly. They do not want to be scandalous, so they think of other ways to fire the driver. Mrs. Park asks Jessica what happens when the driver sends her home. She does not say anything bad, so Mrs. Park thinks she is innocent and does not know how to gauge people's attitudes. That is the time that Jessica introduces her father, Kick Tate, to Mrs. Park. Mrs. Park says she wants to have a young driver, but Jessica insists that an older driver is better. She says her relatives have a driver before whom she called uncle and the name is Mr. Kim. Jessica describes him as congenial, nice, and mild-mannered. As a result, Mrs. Park is really interested in meeting Mr. Kim. She says she only trusts someone recommended by a person she knows well, just like how Min Hyuk recommended Kik Woo, and how Kik Woo recommended Jessica. One day, Kik Take and his son go to a car shop to study how to drive a Benz. He practices a lot. Kik Take knows how to drive well because he used to be a part-time driver before. Kik Take goes to Mr. Park's office to meet him. Mr. Park tests him and checks how he drives. Mr. Park is surprised at how well Kik Take drives because his coffee did not spill while he was driving. Kik Take convinces Mr. Park to hire him as the new driver because of his superb driving skills. The family now thinks about how to eliminate the housekeeper Moon Guan. They think that Moon Guan may look like a sheep, but she is a fox inside. She sometimes acts as the owner of the house. They think it will be hard to replace her in the house, for she is the longest person who leaves there. She was the housekeeper of architect Nam Goon, who is the first owner of the house. When architect Nam Goon sold the mansion to the Park family, he introduced Moon Guan to Park's family and told her that she is a good housekeeper, so they should hire them. That is how she survives the change of ownership. The Kim family thinks she will not give up an excellent job easily, so they need to think of a strategy to eliminate her from the house. While Kik Wu is tutoring Da Hai, she says that she loves peaches a lot, but it is the forbidden fruit in the house, for their housekeeper Moon Wong is allergic to it. Because of that, Kik Wu thinks of a great plan. He asks her sister to collect the fuzz on a peachy's skin. Kik Wu gets the fuzz of the peachy's skin to his sister and secretly splashes it at Moon Wong. Moon Wong cannot stop sneezing and coughing, but she has a major disease. She goes to the hospital where Kik Tik is secretly waiting. Kik Tik takes a selfie with Moon Wong in the background. He shows it to Mrs. Park while they are in the supermarket to buy groceries. He tells Mrs. Park that he heard Moon Wong talking with someone on the phone, saying that she has tuberculosis. The family plans it very carefully. Kik Tik sends a message to his daughter that they will be arriving home in eight minutes. Kai Jung secretly splashes the fuzz of Peach's skin to Moon Guang, causing her to cough non-stop. The timing is perfect. When Mrs. Park arrives home, Moon Guang is coughing hard. She throws tissue in the trash bin. Kick Take puts cats up on the tissue that Mrs. Park believes is blood. She asks Kick Take not to tell this to her husband, and she will just ask Moon Guang to leave the house. Moon Guang leaves the house blankly, but she wonders why Mrs. Park asks her to leave suddenly. While inside the car, Mr. Park tells Kick Take that he is incredibly surprised when learning his wife fired Moon Guang. His wife just tells him that Moon Guang eats a lot, which is why she doesn't like her to stay in their house anymore. He worries a lot now because his wife does not know how to do the household chores. She is not good at cooking food and cleaning the house. Kick Take hands out a calling card to Mr. Park and makes up a story about the company The Care. He says that it is like a membership service that provides veteran-grade help to VIP customers like them. Mr. Park easily gets deceived, because the call-in card looks high-class thanks to the design by his daughter Kai Jung, who really has a talent for arts. Kick Take also says that the company contacted him to offer a veteran driver position, but he declined because he had already accepted to work for his family. Mr. Park gives the card to his wife. Mrs. Park calls the number at the back of the call-in card. Kai Jung answers the call, and says that she is the senior advisor of the care. Her acting is the best that convinces Mrs. Park, Kai Jung's parents are really surprised by their daughter's acting. The mother, Chung Suk, finally enters the house as a replacement for the housekeeper. The Kim family successfully deceives the Park family. Each of them gets a job in the household. Kai Jung acts as Jessica, the art therapist for Da Son, Kik Wu as Da Hai's English tutor, Kik Take as Mr. Park's chauffeur, and Chung Suk as the housekeeper. Kik Wu also begins a restricted romantic relationship with Da Hai. One day, the Parks decides to go camping. So they enjoy the luxuries of the parks. The couple sleep on the couch. 
Kai Jung uses the bathtub when watching TV, while Kik Woo enjoys the bedroom of Da Hai. The family drinks varieties of alcohol in the living room. They eat and drink a lot while daydreaming. They dream of becoming the real owner of the house. Kik Woo says that he will hire con artists to be his parents when a time comes that he will marry Da Hai. Chung Sook says that she likes Da Hai because she is kind, pretty, but not wild. Kai T says the Kim family is so gullible, especially Mrs. Park. She is naive and nice, rich, but still kind. Chung Sook says that Mrs. Park is just nice because they have plenty of money and do not worry about how to pay the bills. Chung Sook says that she will be truly kind if she is just as rich as Mrs. Park. They are having a wonderful time when someone rings the doorbell. It is Moon Guan, the previous housekeeper. She asks Chung Sook to allow her to enter the house because she forgot something in the basement. Chung Sook pities Moon Guang because it is raining heavily, so she allows her to enter the house. Her husband and children hide when Moon Guang goes down the basement. Chung Sook gets tired of waiting, so she follows Moon Guang in the basement. She is astonished to find that someone is there. He is Moon Guang's husband, Jun Se. It's revealed that he had been hiding there for four years when the first owner left the house. Moon Guang does not have any choice but to keep his husband there because loan sharks are looking for him because of his debts. Jun Se, Moon Guang's husband, does not want to leave the house because he already got used to living there. He thinks that he is meant to be in that place. Moon Wong asks Chung Sook not to tell the Park family that her husband is hiding in the basement. She offers money to Chung Sook to bring food to her husband twice a week. Chung Sook refuses and threatens that she will report this to the rich family. Kik Tae, Kai Jum, and Kik Woo go to the basement and follow Chung Sook and Moon Wong out of curiosity when Kik Woo suddenly falls on the stairs while eavesdropping. He screams, Father, while in pain. Moon Wong and Jun Se are incredibly surprised by that. She says that now she understands why she is suspicious of them in the first place. Moon Wong is now the one who threatens the family that she will send the video of Kik Woo calling his father Kik Tae to the rich family. They all go upstairs while Moon Wong and her husband enjoy the house of the parks. They threaten the Kims that they will send the video to the wealthy family. The Kim family decides to fight with them, trying to get the phone of Moon Guang. Kai Jung gets the peaches and throws them to Moon Guang. Moon Guang is allergic to them, so she loses to the family soon. They tie Moon Guang and her husband. Right then the phone rings, it is Mrs. Park. A severe rainstorm forces the Parks to go back home because the river overflows. The Kims hurriedly clean the room and bring Moon Wong and her husband to the bunker. Moon Wong fell on the stairs and hurt her head. There is lots of blood that comes out of her head. Shortly after, the Kims successfully clean the house and hide Moon Wong and her husband in the bunker. Mrs. Park tells Chum Sook the story of why De Song had a seizure in the past. It was because of his traumatic experience on his previous birthday. While eating cake sunbag, Da Song saw a ghost who actually happened to be Moon Wong's husband. It's revealed that the husband went to the kitchen to look for food, without knowing that the young boy was also there. The Kims hide under the table and hear negative comments of the wealthy family about their stinky smell. The Kims get offended at how the Parks bully their family. The Kims sneak out of the house while Mr. and Mrs. Park are sleeping. They go home and find their apartment flooded. They are forced to stay in the shelter with others whose houses were also flooded. The next day, Mrs. Park prepares for Da Song's birthday with the Kim family's help. Kik Wu goes to the basement with the Scholar's Rock to find Jun Se. They are surprised to find out that Moon Wong died due to concussion when she fell on the stairs during her fight with the Kims. Jun Se smashes Kik Wu's head with the Scholar's Rock. The man then goes out of the bunker and gets a knife. He stabs Kai Jung. Kik Tik tries to stop the bleeding from Kai Jung's body. Da Song suffers from another seizure upon seeing Jun Se, who he thinks is a ghost. Chung Sook stabs Jun Se with a barbecue skewer. While Kik Tik tries to stop the bleeding from Kai Jung's wounds, Mr. Park commands him to drive the car to bring Da Song to the hospital. Kik Tik is out of control and remembers Mr. Park's off-handed comments against their smell. So Kik Tik gets the knife and kills Mr. Park. He flees from the scene and leaves his family behind. Time passes, Kik Wu is recovered from brain surgery. He and his mother Chung Sook are convicted due to fraud and put on probation. Kai Jung died, while Kik Tik is hiding in the basement. Kik Wu always checks the mansion which is now owned by a German family who is unaware of its history. He sees the message of Morse code from a flickering light from the mansion. He knows that his father is there waiting for them. Kik Wu writes a letter for his father and promises to earn money so that one day he can buy that mansion and they will be reunited. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your fun for today.